Hello guys, Crowbar here, and today I'll be reviewing Blitz and Base Kyle. So, how do you obtain him? Well, he was available through Llamas and the Event Quests last Christmas and the Birthday Llamas earlier this year. With some luck, he'll be back in this year's Christmas event, or more likely next year's Birthday Llamas. In any case, let's get on with the review. Blitz and Base Kyle has the Warden subclass meaning that he has many passives focused around his hammer, as well as some synergy his melee shares with Bullrush. First things first though, we'll talk about his unique base, which has a few passives associated with it. The first one just increases his base size to 4 tiles. The next one increases his movement speed by 12% and crit rating by 5 with blunt weapons while on top of his base. This, unfortunately, is not so amazing with how small his base actually is. However, his final passive is Base MD. When people are standing on your base tiles, they regenerate 4% of their health every 3 seconds. While this sounds like a small amount, it's actually a fairly significant amount of health and has been buffed several times since his release. Next up, we have Plasma Pulse, which Basically, I'm just gonna skip because Plasma Pulse is a bad ability and he has no passives for it. Finally, we have his Bull Rush, plus his melee passives. We'll go over Bull Rush first and then talk about his melee passives. When Blitz and Base Kyle's Bull Rush ends, his damage is increased by a whole 55%, which is almost double what a damage perk is when it's upgraded to Legendary. On top of this, the Rushed Rush perk decreases Bull Rush's cooldown to 9 seconds. With the 55% increase lasting for 10 seconds, you basically have infinite increased damage with this perk. And now, we'll get into his melee perks. His first one is Kinetic Overload. This causes a shockwave dealing large damage and a knockback when you critically strike an enemy. This knockback and damage is dealt in a half meter AoE with his next perk. Kinetic Overdrive. His final perk will heal him for a small amount every fourth hit with a melee weapon. This is so small though that I wouldn't really even factor it into his kit. So with medium amounts of CC, a healing base, and massive hammer damage, he has a lot of tools to bring to the battlefield. Overall, this character is my favorite in the game, if you couldn't tell by the channel icon. It has only gotten better as time goes on. If you like hammers, healing, and constructors, I highly suggest picking them up. In any case, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye